Hello YouTube, uh, we're in the comfy chair today, we're not on the car, we're we actually going to be talking about the car. So we're going to be talking about brake pads and specifically the EBC RPX brake pads and what I think of them. Now firstly, most of you know, if you don't know and you're new to the channel, my car is a 2014 Fiesta ST and I've been running the EBC RPX brake pads on my last track day. So brake pads one of the hottest topics for track days and it's understandable brakes the most important part of the car um, if you're going to take it on track uh, i've tried a few over over the years um, the fiesta in particular is incredibly harsh on its brakes it's really the very small brakes they're 280 mil something like that on the front um, so they cook the brakes a lot um, it's, it's one of the main letdowns of the car but you can make it work but what doesn't help is I think this is correct to the best of my knowledge but the car has some kind of um, e-diff type of thing they call it it's not really a diff but when you corner in and it detects wheel spin and applies the brakes and tries to limit that wheel spin and it's not very effective but it also adds to the overheating of the brakes it's like a double whammy of problems and you can't turn it off i'm pretty sure it doesn't turn off if you turn off traction control esc then this braking is still on so it's very easy to cook the brakes in a fiesta st it's, it is a problem so for the last year or so I've been searching for that ultimate brake pad that I can use on track that's going to work and it's not going to cost a fortune. So I started off using DS2500 and that was an emergency pad that I bought purely because I was going to go ST170 conversion with DS3000 pads I already had. That didn't work out. I needed a quick pad to get on track. I bought the DS2500. They were okay, but as you all know, when you start pushing hard, they, they, they're just not good enough. I, I don't recommend them at all for anything other than a bit of fast road and occasional track day. So then we went to the Endless ME22. Superb pad. Cannot fault them. They are absolutely brilliant only downside is the cost they are 340 pound for a set of pads for a fiesta just for the front it's a lot of money a lot of money so anyway i was looking for an alternative now there's been a little bit of talk about these ebc you've got the rp1 and the rpx so i've gone for the rpx now a full disclaimer I didn't pay for the RPX, I contacted EBC because I heard they were looking for some testers and some feedback. So I got in touch with them and they replied, yeah, they said we'll give you a, a set of RPX pads, go and see what you think of them. So happy days. The good thing is they cost half the price of the Endless. Now I'm going to be honest though, I always tell the truth, I will not lie to any of you. I was sceptical of whether they could compete with Endless. If you look at the... Um, right up it says that they're similar to endless i uh, give it a similar feel i think it's the paget rs29 and endless they list i was skeptical now also if you look back earlier in my videos you'll see that i done a fitting video where i fitted them if you want to go back and have a look at that i did measurements of thickness shows pad comparisons to standard and all that kind of stuff but back to it yeah i was skeptical of how good they were how could they compare to endless which is considered to be the ultimate pad and they were faultless for me the endless absolutely brilliant never faded one so the bar was set massively high for ebc to get even close and let's be honest i'm on the facebook groups and ebc they take some stick they do nobody rates them at all if i'm honest up to like the yellow stuff that gets pushed as being attractive pad and people shut it down they don't they don't respond very well so how was I going to feel about the RPX? Well, I used them at the day at Castle Coombe just a few days ago. And I'm going to tell you honestly now, this is my honest and biased opinion. I'm not saying this just because I had the pads for free, but they were absolutely brilliant. I cannot fault them. Now, the reason I'm saying that it's an unbiased opinion, even when I'm free, is because I'm super chuffed and my, I'm not going to get these free again. I'm going to have to buy them. So, down the road i'm looking for a cheaper pad than endless i don't want to be paying 340 pound for a new set of front pads which would basically i'll be changing every kind of track season or maybe less so 
168 pound i think they are um for the rpx for my car so half the price of endless honestly i am over the moon that they like i battered them as hard as my driving ability could i didn't fade them once zero fade did not fade now obviously my driving uh, might be different to other people the car you might use them on might be different but just to give you a little bit of reference um we were lapping one minute 19 one minute 20 to castle Coom. if you've ever done castle Coom, you know that to get sub 120 takes some going it's not easy it's taken me years to get to that standard on the car of where i can go sub 120 i've been trying for a long time so it's i definitely pushed as hard as i can uh, and i can't fault them i thought they were absolutely brilliant um in time i'm going to measure the thickness see how much i used i ran eight sessions that day before the car broke um the day was cut short slightly as you've probably seen if you haven't watched the vlog go and watch it you'll see i had uh, a, a breakdown in the car uh, which was a bit of a pain so but yeah i'll put a little thingy up here you can click on it but i wouldn't have done pro that it was half past three in the day when that happened i might have done one more session so i want to use the endless on genuine four discs which everybody raves about i crazed them in one day um yeah they weren't full cracks but it was crazy uh, and that was just one day of castle coom back last time so i was pretty pleased to see that the ebc discs that i used haven't crazed in one day now i will give a plug for ebc here because i am really chuffed to give me the opportunity to test the pads and i am looking forward to using them in future so if you go on the ebc website now um, you can buy RP1 or RPX, use them, when you're done with them, send them back and they'll send you the other pad, which is either the RP1 or RPX, whichever you buy, for free. So it's buy one, get one free. They're also doing 10% off. I think there's a code on the website, go and look it up. Now, what I suggest you do, out of the RBC, um, RP1 and RPX, the cheaper pad is the RP1 and i think that's got a temperature range of up to 750 degrees rpx 850 so the rpx would be better if you get the rp1 first because it's a cheaper pad than the rpx buy that one use it when you're finished with it get a set of rpx then for free so i think that's pretty much a no-brainer so my conclusion to that is i am super chuffed i'm super happy with the pads we'll see what the future brings but based on one track day i thought they were absolutely brilliant so what i'm going to do and i'll probably add some clips of the laps so if you've never watched my channel before you get to see how i drove and how the car performed but that is it people that is what i think of the ebc rpx thanks very much for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video bye